back to my channel so in today's video I will be showing you guys how to get this look here and I really don't have any like I wasn't inspired by anything I just saw this eyeshadow on my palette and I was like you know what I'm doing it um but it kind of like as I was doing the look it kind of reminded me of like Zelina from Once Upon a Time which is the Wicked Witch of the West so I mean I guess I could kind of incorporate like a Halloween type theme or it could just be an excuse for a dramatic look I don't know but I really love the way this look turned out I hope you guys like it and I used faked I used fake eyelashes just for you guys and I had such a hard time applying it you guys will see soon um, but yeah so please um, feel free to thumbs up this video comment down below what you guys want to see next also don't forget to check out all my links in the description box below and be sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye Alright guys, so I, okay, I know, really repetitive, I say this every video, but I can't find different primer that I love as much as this one. So I'm just going to prime my eyes with it, and then I'm going to dust in my crease Max Soft Brown Eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, like yes! Uh, this product is, I love it. It's like my go-to transition shade right now. I use it for every single kind of look, even a cool tone look. This is like my boo, I love this product. And then I'm going to go with Max Power Eye Cold Pencil in Feline, and I'm just going to put this all over my entire lid. You heard me right, raccoon eyes is actually what we're trying to go for here. Not entirely, but hey. And then I'm just going to take like a flat brush, and I'm just going to really blend it out. Well, this kind of is just smudging it out. This was really hard, and re I really cut this process in half because it took so long. But And then basically I take my Real Techniques brush, and I just really kind of blend everything out. I realized that this had some brush cleaner residue on it, so it was kind of taking away some of the eyeliner, as you can see. It looks really weird. I don't know. I later on fixed that. But so basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm just applying it directly to my lid and then kind of smudging it out and then going in with like a fluffier, more of a blending brush to really blend everything out. Blending is key for this look, especially since we're using blacks. You want to be very, very careful. And that's why I'm doing the eyes first and not foundation. So I'm taking this shade from the Comfort Zone palette by Wet n Wild. And this shade really reminds me of the MAC pigment Blue Brown. And I know a lot of people have said this is a dupe. But this reminds me personally a lot of this shade. So if you have that pigment, that's great. Or this is like a cheaper version of it. So I'm just going to pack that all over where I put the black. And then I'm taking my blending brush with no additional product. And I'm just going to really go back and forth windshield wiper motions. And really, really blend out that look. Like I said, guys, blending is key for this look. If you don't blend it, it's just going to look like a mess and you're going to look like some serious raccoon eyes happened. I'm not even joking. You really need to blend. I had troubles with this look was like so, I don't know, everything that could possibly go wrong with filming went wrong with this and it was just a disaster. Anyway, so now I'm going to like go onto my eyes and I'm going to use my Smashbox primer water. I'm just going to spray this all over my face and then I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and I'm just going to put this all over my face. As you can see, the eye look is very simple and easy. There's only a few steps left for it. It's just basically two colors or two, three products and it's really easy. And that's why I think like, that's why I love this look so much because it's so easy. You can create such a dramatic and beautiful look with such few products. But anyway, so I'm gonna blend in my foundation with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I absolutely love this brush, but I'm actually in the hunt for a new brush. So if you guys have like any brushes that you recommend, whether it's Sigma, Morphe, I don't know. I just really need some recommendations on what to buy. I'm so stuck. <laughs> so um, anyway, yeah, so I'm going to blend in my foundation and I decided to go for another layer because such dramatic eyes kind of drowns out the face a little bit. And we want our face to be really flawless and really like, I don't know, Barbie-esque. Is that the right word for it? I don't know. That's what we're going for. Um, so yeah, I just really want my face to be really, really flawless for this look because, hey, why not? My voice just got caught there. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> So then for concealer, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm just going to put this in like a triangle under my eyes and I'm going to bring it down the sides of my nose and I'm really going to highlight with this product um, just because the concealer was so much lighter than my face so I'm just going to put it exactly where you would highlight normally. And then I'm going to blend it in because like I said, blending's crucial, hey. Um, I mean if you want to walk out like this, that's totally fine, you do you boo. But anyway, so I'm going to take the Real Techniques Sculpting Face Brush, and I am I love this brush for blending in my concealer, just because I find that recently I've been finding, like with my foundation left on my brush, 
um, when I blend in my concealer, it's been looking really cakey just because of all the excess foundation and stuff that you're putting back onto your face. So I find if you have like a separate brush, it works really, really nicely and flawlessly and you don't look like really like cakey and gross. And then I'm gonna set all of my concealer areas with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm using the banana powder and I'm just going to set everything with that and then I'm going to use I don't even know what shade I used as a brow bone highlight but I was just like a very like an ivory white anyway so I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow and I believe this is Makeup Geek's corrupt eyeshadow and I'm gonna take a really like oh there we go my friend decided to interrupt and uh, pull lipstick on me so that's fantastic but um, anyway, I'm going to be taking a definer brush and I'm just going to be smudging this on my lower lash line. First, I'm like tightly lining it and then I'm going to go back and smudge it out. And then I'm going to take like a pencil brush or a different smudger brush and I'm taking the blue brown type of shade, the pigment we used all over our eyes. And I'm just going to really like smoke this out and make it very smoky, obviously. And you, could, you can do this like as messy as you want. I don't know. You do you, boo. And then I'm going back in with the eyeliner, or this is a different eyeliner. It's the Anastasia Cream Color in Jet, I believe. This was like my first time using it in this video. But I'm just going to line my eyes and I'm going to do a really dramatic wing because this look was so dramatic. I was like, you guys know what I say in every video I do that's a dramatic eye look. Why not go the extra mile, right? I mean, we're already going the extra half a mile. Why not go the full mile? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're just gonna do that, and then I'm taking my MAC eyeliner and I'm gonna line my waterline. And you guys could see I poked my eyes a million times. And then I'm going to actually use falsies today. And these are, I forget what they are, but they're by Ardell. And I'm just going to, I actually did not have a hard time with this side, but the other eye, like it would not go on. So I'm just gonna apply those to my eyes. I actually took them off and put them on my makeup desk and I'm missing an eyelash now. And I was so mad because I actually really liked these eyelashes, but I have another set, so that's fine. And then on my lower lash line, I'm taking my Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara cause you know, you know me, you gotta have something on your lower lashes. And then I'm going to take Fawn by Anastasia, the bronzer, and I'm just going to contour my face. Not really like sculpting out my face, more like brontouring, you know, putting something there. I have not been like really sculpting out my face lately. That's just not me, not what I'm into. So don't forget to put it on your forehead and then your neck. And then I'm using this L'Oreal True Match Blush, and I believe it's in Preci Precious Peach. And applying that to my cheeks and then you guys know how I do my eyebrows I showed you a million and one time so we're just gonna kind of skip over that and then I'm gonna highlight with uh, Becca's shimmering skin perfector in opal and I'm just gonna apply this to the high points of my face and just really highlight this look and then for lips I'm taking this NARS like jumbo lip thingy I don't know what shade it's in. I will link it somewhere, or write it somewhere on the screen. I honestly have no idea. But anyway, so that's my completed look. I hope you guys really like it. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.